I just, I can't believe this as much as I can't believe that. Yeah. If a little lunch you're eating and a guest or two you're feeding, it would give me pleasure to get the check for this very friendly meeting. She made that up, I know. This is from CJ Cat. My wish for you is that each dream... <laughs> My wish for you is that each dream may be fulfilled. I remember Oprah saying that we Mike, cannot... Mike cannot dream as big as God can provide. So, okay. My wish for you is that each dream may be fulfilled. I remember Oprah saying that we cannot dream as big as God can provide. So dream really big. I'm a good dreamer. And this is for um, Cabbage Patch, which is Kate's and my very favorite place to go to. Thank you, CJ. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was going to say it does never quit. Um, oh, this has to be from Bantry. Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. Well, let me check. Yeah, it yeah, is. Thank you so much for all you do for the case. We all love you. And all the volunteers. This is, you guys, you guys are as big as this as I am. Um, Bantry's the one who did the package for today. Um, and uh, this one, oh, Ar Ardia. Ardia is the name of this one. I love this. Thank you, Bantry. I'll get that friend if I can keep it away from Kate. Oh, uh, the shawl is from Mammy. The shawl is from Mammy? Is it? I should have known that. Okay. It's beautiful, Mammy. Thank you. Um, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I wasn't, wasn't <coughs> expecting this at all. And... Um, you guys are so, all, all of you volunteers and all you webcamers are so important to us. Um, the kitties are the reason that we all got together here. And it's uh, made for a lot of friendships and a lot of good, good things between us people here. And brings out the best in all of us. And I thank you for, for all of that. Oh.
Five, four. I don't know how we did this. Fifteen thousand. Is she really, really sure that's his right one? <laughs> it's my right. short. Um, it's $15,671. And we'd really like to thank all the people at home, the viewed from all over the world, and all the volunteers. And uh, Jackie, thank you. So much. <laughs> what do I say? I, I, can't, I can't thank everybody enough. Um, thank you. Um, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. I love what I do here, and I love my family and all the friends and volunteers here. Um, and I'm not quitting this anytime. I keep telling everyone I'm going to love to be over 100, and I'm probably going to be die doing this when I'm over 100 because I love it. I do have a passion for this, and I want to do it right. And I want to um, reach out and do as many kitties and cats as what we can to help them. And you guys, all of you guys, everybody here, there's a lot of people here, and uh, everybody out there um, on the webcam, uh, there's not enough words to thank you. So from the bottom of my heart, I'm so appreciative. Nice
They're so adorable. Yeah, this one's Barbara. And this one is Rizzo. This one is Gonzo. And you are Fozzie. Fozzie. Yep. Their very first big adventure. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Aren't they just the cutest little things? They're, they're, whoop, there you go. You're the brave one of the bunch. I don't like Come on, you can do it. Come on, be brave. What you got? Oh, that's your marking on your toe. You got a cute little toe there, Barbara. Yeah. Say, no, I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to stay back here. Yeah. See, this guy's scary. I just changed into a new pin, huh? We have to use your old pin for a new litter coming in. <laughs> Gotta wonder what they think, you know? That, that could be a toy there. We'll bring you in some real toys, okay? Can you get up there? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. They're just as stocky and chubby wubby as can be. Look at you. Maybe a month or so, you'll be running around here like wild things. How old are they now, Jackie? Oh my. Um, they must be five weeks, I believe. Four and a half, five weeks, probably somewhere in there. I'd have to look their birthdays up. Look at your nose. <laughs> yeah, they're probably closer to five. I do believe the tortie here is the bigger one of the bunch, it looks like. I think they're more of She's going to do the adoption. Okay. So she's done. Okay. Just so oh, cute. Oh, we see how they are. And you're a good mama. You're a good mama. Do you want to get down here and check them out? Make sure that they're they're okay? Is this new pin going to work for you? There you go. Is that pin going to work for you? See, it's okay. Now you get a whole room. <laughs> Looks like Frankie's getting on. She wants it. I thought, I thought that would work. <laughs> good. Well, I'll go talk to her. All right, you guys. Now, just be careful. That's a big step down. <laughs> the people where he was at. Um, oops. Oh, what happened? Are you all agitated for some reason? The people that, um, where he came from, mm -hmm. uh, the guy, he's into just the um, glory of mm -hmm. all that. Yeah. Really, but he's, these ladies just love him. And they came the other day to, to visit him and said he was the cream of the crop, personality wise. And he is, he's really great. But he's, he's figured out how to play and run and mm -hmm. be goofy. And he's just a good boy. And he loves to get in a lap. He loves the laser light. Yep, I have one of those. Okay. Yep. Okay. And, with, and uh, peacock feathers that we have here too. He really likes those. We'll send a couple of those home. Look at that pretty face. Isn't he gorgeous? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. He is gorgeous. So he just requires his nose. Sometimes the Persian's noses little are little also more. a little runny. Yeah. His isn't. And it's all because it's all there. It's just yeah. shoved up in there. But uh, he just requires his eyes to be wiped out once a day. Yep. <laughs> He's stretching. And you can see his ears are already starting to get some rolls on it. Yeah. yeah. Are you, no, he's not, he usually doesn't do that on the way. He's all worked up. He says, I just don't know how to express myself yet. I but have a carrier thing. Okay. Yeah, they have to go in home car. in a carrier. Yeah. yeah. But he, you know, the beiges that you picked up, mm -hmm. he will be as long or longer. I so I'm going to show you what happens when people don't groom the yeah, Persians. Yeah, they get all mad. At they do really yeah. bad. I've got a couple of examples out there I'll okay. show you. But he's he's a good boy. He's got a lot of potential, and I think as he gets even more used to another yeah. new place, he's just going to blossom even yeah. more. Okay, well, let's go okay. um, get his paperwork done. Okay. Yep. You want to come? These are Persians. Persian pelts, I guess you could call them. 
you may want to go to a brown again and uh, swipe. I'm just going to open so you're not going through the screen, but we don't want it to, I don't think we want to. Hi, sweetheart. This is Zelda. This is the little one that was caught with the bricks. Oh, you're so beautiful. Hi, sweetie. Shaking it. Yeah, she's scared. It's okay. She's proud. Jackie will bring her around. Oh, I know. No. And these are all these are all from Persia. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. You're so crazy. You guys are routine my legs. Ouch. Yeah, I've seen it. We got back there. Just trying to see which one it is. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's either Jobo or Jobin. The other one's up here. <laughs> Look here. And here is the beautiful Kardashian. Hi, Kardashian. Well, because they knew we were getting them, they were leaving them out in the cattery to run and play. Yeah. And so when he came here, he already was had some of that at the cattery. But honestly, when he, he got here, we were treating him the same as we had those other ones, yeah. where we expect him to be in a cage for a week or two. Yeah. And he came up, we kept his finger open all day, and he never, ever yeah. wanted to go back in. Yeah. I've just got one of those little, oh. it's probably like just like this. It's okay, just a well, you'll love the top it. On yep. it. You'll love that. Right. You'll love the bed. Thank you. Yeah. Um, this is a little mom. You can Hi, but this sweetheart. is Twinkle. Hi, baby. She's going to wake up and. This is a little twinkle. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. 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 There isn't she sweet. Has she grown out of it? Has she healed out or anything since you saw her? This is a Okay. Okay. Roll it. Okay, this is Ada Jane. She's one of our three permanent kitties. And Ada Jane arrived here in 2005. She was already 10 years old. She was um, actually given up by her family and given to the shelter when she was 10 years old and for euthanasia. But we had to bring her here. And uh, so she's here. She's been here first all this time. And she's uh, considered one of our permanents. She's a sweetie pie. She's the one who has the little head tilt. She likes to turn it. And she's the one who likes the temptation treat. So add a chain. And you can always tell her because she has that cute little dotty on her nose and her little cocky face. Um, she was uh, already spayed and declawed. I don't remember why they couldn't keep her, but it doesn't matter because we'll take care of her forever. Are you ready to get down? Okay, we'll put you down. Okay, now we'll find another one. My notebook. And it's in bad shape. Oh, yeah. You know what? Are you looking to adopt Speaking of that, we need to um, do one over here. here. Yeah, we just did it yesterday because oh, I knew, I wasn't sure what your schedule line was. Oh, okay. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, um, this is Putter, and Putter was found just about a year ago at a golf course. 
He was in very, very bad condition. He was nothing but all mats, and uh, he had to be shaved down all the way. We figure he's about 13 years old, and uh, we call him Putter Butter because he's just a sweetheart. He's one of our permanents. We'll stay here until he's, he's not with us any longer, but he's not up for adoption. So he was named Putter because of the golf course thing. And we love him. He's everybody's little hero boy. He kind of keeps the kitties in line and the big ones in line. And if they're doing something wrong, he's not beyond giving them a whack here and there. Okay, Putter. He's sometimes known as Sheriff the Putter. And Putter the Biker. Officer Putter. Okay, buddy. Isn't he handsome? He's a happy putter. Here you go. Whoops. Well, that's our putter. Magenta. This is Magenta. She's the third. Well, actually, we have to say now she's the third of our four Olsters because we now have Twinkle also. Magenta was named Magenta because when she first arrived, she was painted purple. And she came and was declawed also. She actually arrived first time September. I have to look at my notes because there's too much here. She arrived here September of 07. And she, oh, I'm sorry. She first arrived February of 03. And then she was adopted in May of 03, was returned in September of 07. So she actually stayed at her first home for four years. And then we adopted her out almost a year after that. She was at that home for two years and then had to be returned. And unfortunately, both times that she was adopted out, her owners um, had died. They were both um, older, older folks who passed away. And both times the families brought her back. The last time that she came back, we just decided she was guaranteed the rank of an oldster and that means that they stay here forever. She had four kitties when she came here and they've all been adopted and we've actually hear from them every once in a while and they're doing good. But this is Magenta. She gets the privileged state of every morning when I make breakfast. She shares the counter with uh, Farah and they do get to stay on the counter to eat. Don't you? You ready to get down? She's kind of the boss of the place, other than Putter, I think. <laughs> hey, Kate, do you think you could turn the sink on for Ada Jean? She wants to drink really bad. She has, and can we, do we have time for Twinkle? Yeah. our newest oldster. <clears throat> Her name is Twinkle. She has the really, really old eyes. Doesn't see very well. Um, unfortunately, when she came, she was just like a skeleton. She was just skin poured over the bones. And she had literally over a thousand fleas on her. I know that for sure. Uh, it took three baths to get her to get her clean. And she was so, so emaciated. But she took off eating right away. And she is 14 years old. Uh, she needs daily eye care. And right now all we're doing is just giving her lots of love, lots of food, and whatever she wants, she can do. She doesn't see real good, so we've been kind of keeping her in the office to kind of help her acclimate to that area. But I noticed a couple of times now she's wandered out here into the main area. And uh, she's doing real good. She doesn't have 100% vision, but I think enough to see a little bit of shadows and things. So she's doing just fine. She's getting along great. She says it's always good when you get lots of love, but I guarantee her she would never, ever, ever have another fleet on her little body. You want to go back out? Say hi, everybody. Are you shy? <laughs> okay, off you go. Use the sunglasses while we're not running here. Okay. Okay. Oh, thank you. Uh, this one is Patty Cake, and we should be singing Happy Birthday because her his birthday's tomorrow. <laughs> Him and his brother came a year ago. To, uh, a year ago, 
Oh, here's here's Patty Cake or Patty Purr. And uh, they were just, they came on the day that they were born, and they're brothers. They love each other. So tomorrow's their birthday. Now take a look at this face. How nice the eyes are. The teeth are in. Take a look at this one. We have to clean his face every day. He's snaggle puss. His old bottom fangs stick up. He says it's better to kiss you with that way. And you got a wet mouth. But they're a year old tomorrow. It's unbelievable. Um, I saw Kate, uh, Kate had taken a picture of them when they first came, and I saw that the other day. And they were just little pudge butts. They were just so big and fat. Um, and this one, is, Patty Cake, is always the whiner. This one's always the purrer. But they get groomed probably two to three times a day. And they got a birthday present tomorrow to open up, thanks to you. <laughs> and well, from the webcamers. From all the webcamers. So Patty Cake, Patty Purr, <laughs> and we love them to pieces. And these are the two that our Bermuda friends had adopted and then re-gifted back to the rescue center. So these two stay with us forever. I can't imagine this place without them now. <laughs> All right. All right, boys. Okay, we have Miss, they think they're so big and bad. We have Miss <laughs> Bella down here. And Bella. Okay. Ready? This is Bella. Bella, Bella girl. She was born uh, the very first of September of old of 02, she was just six weeks old when she arrived. A good friend of ours was going down the road and she was on the yellow line, middle of the road, all by herself. She had a fractured, severely fractured back leg and the other leg uh, was uh, had some paralysis to it, as was her tail. And we knew she needed surgery to remove that leg. It was so crushed that, but our vet did not want to do the surgery on it till he knew that she could at least use the other leg a little bit. So she received a lot of anti-inflammatories. We did physical therapy on it and kept working with her, kept telling her, Bella, get your butt up, is what we told her, and helped her all a lot. And she finally was able to get that other leg underneath her. But this is the one that you guys all see scooting around sometimes, and that's just her way. She doesn't really lift the bottom up too much, but she does just fine. Um, she gets up top on all of the catwalks. She goes everywhere and has no trouble getting around. Sometimes people feel sorry for her, but we tell everyone, don't feel sorry for this girl because this girl can travel. She can go. Sometimes I leave her in my house, and when I open the door and give her the nod that it's okay, she gets up that last step, and bam, she's gone. She is like a whirlwind in there. And she goes up the steps, which is it's, it's just awesome. So this is Bella. She's our baby food jar cleaner outer. She takes these little paws, dips it in, when she's done, those, those jars are just about 100% cleaned out. You fool everybody, though, don't you? Yeah, you make them feel sorry for you and say, we don't do that. We always try to remember on these three-leggers to rub their ears and their necks on that side because you know how cats like to scratch, and they can't do that always. So we always try to remind people on these three-leggers to itch their little heads and necks for them. Okay, Bella. Yeah, everybody loves Bella. This is Asha. She arrived in March, just this year. And CG is the CG Cry, or one of our web camera friends, is the one that worked out all the details for her to be rescued. She was at another place, and the sad thing on her was they, they deemed her as a feral cat and they were just going to spare her and um, put her back outside at a farm ground, I guess. The problem is that she also on her left front leg, she had a very, very badly healed, deformed leg, I guess you could say, and it was very painful for her. So we um, decided to take the leg off so that she didn't have that pain. And um, you can see she just loves everybody. She's just a real people girl. But CG wanted to adopt her, and she stays here. She's, a, she's one of our keeper girls. You know what makes me even feel s more sad for her other than her leg, because this doesn't bother her at all, is that they also clipped her left ear. That's a universal sign of uh, a, a cat that has that left ear clipped is a sign of a feral cat. And she's not. She was just scared, scared for them. 
and she was hurting. That leg was really awful, and so we're glad that CT did the rescue on her. And this, but this is Asha girl. She's got a collar on from her adoptive mama, which, gosh, you've got that one worn down, don't you, already? But she's wonderful. She's good with the kitties, the cats. She loves people. She just needed a little bit of help. And Paul, one of the guys that works here, is the one who, who did the transferring for us. She looks real wild. Isn't she? I love her. Okay, on you go, girl. Okay. Whoop, hang on now. Hi, you're great. Cool. Yeah, uh, probably. Betty? Um, this is Cutie, Cutie Pie. And when Cutie arrived, she was only three weeks old. She was just a wee little baby. She had what's called a cuterebra, or a warbler worm, sometimes people call them. And it was embedded in her head. She's also uh, had developed some neurological problems, which they weren't sure if that was a result of the cuterebra or not, but those are little, little tiny, uh, like a larva that is on weeds, and when the kitties, or even, I, I've just heard uh, kitties get them, um, they latch onto the hair, usually around the face, because that's what's going through the weeds, and then they, grow, they deposit themselves in the, in the flesh, and then they grow. And then when you see these cuterebras on them, they're usually about as big as like your little fingernail or even down to the knuckle, depending on how, how mature they are. Um, but they always grow with the head up, and you have to very be very careful extracting those out of there. Well, Cuties was fairly big by the time um, she got here and we got that out, which was very quickly after she arrived. But we always noticed that she lists to the left, and so sometimes on the web cam, you'll see her walking, and when she walks, it's more pronounced. It, she kind of has to has to hold herself up a little bit better, but when she trots or runs, she can keep herself upright a little bit longer. So she arrived here in 06, and we never adopted her out because one of our volunteers, Greg, loves Cutie, and he has actually since adopted her and, but he's got his cats at home, and so Cutie stays here, but she is definitely Greg's cat. She's a domestic short hair, and you can tell she's really, really liking this ear rub. She's just hanging on. So when you see a little, little gray girl kind of looping to the left a little bit, that would be our Cutie girl. You ready to get down? <laughs> oh, you were sleeping. Okay. There you go. This is Farah, and Farah was just seven, six weeks old when she arrived here. I'm sorry, she was seven weeks old, and she came uh, June of '09. So she's like two years old. She had, when she was a baby, she had some medication. This is what we believe happened. She had some medication that didn't agree with her and it caused her to have seizures for, gosh, it was like 24 hours. It was just awful. I didn't, I was just so worried that she wasn't going to survive it. We kept her up in patience's pen, and our vets looked at her and just said, you know, the supportive care is what we needed to do. So she was kept warm, given some medications to try to help solve, or ease those seizures, and then given fluids. The next day, she kind of came out of it, and within another 24 hours, she was back to normal. But unfortunately, it left her as a seizure cat. And for some reason or another, almost every time she has a seizure, she does it on the webcam. I haven't been able to figure out how that happens, but she does. We've even had a call one time from a webcam friend from California that called during the night to tell me that she was having a seizure. So what we do is we just gather her up, throw a towel around her, kind of keep her from um, banging into anything. It usually lasts like a, a minute, 45 minutes, or, or 45 seconds or so. But it does take her usually five minutes additional after that to be able to get her whereabouts with her again. And then usually within 25 minutes, she's back to normal. She's up, ready to go. We just love her to pieces. She actually has been up for adoption. But once you mention seizure, you know, nobody really wants to take that on. So we understand. 
it's not really that scary. Um, we just love her. So if she is here for her whole life, that's how it is, and we will take good, good care of her. So this is Farah. She's a couple years old. We did put a collar on her, not to signify that she's a keeper, more or less, but to signify that she is the one with seizures. So if any of any of our visitors or any of our uh, volunteers sees a white cat with the blue collar having seizures, they, they will instantly know that that is our Farah. And she's purring. And the weird thing is after she has those seizures, she has them maybe only once every six weeks. So she's kind of borderline whether to start her on medicine or not. There's some pros and cons both ways. Uh, so right now she is not on medicine. She was at one time but did not react good with that medicine, so we took her off of it. So right now she is not on it. But after she has those seizures, that next 24, 48 hours, she's like a Velcro girl. She just latches on, and she she's just so sweet. But she's always sweet, but she's extra sweet then. You ready to get down? Hmm? Yeah, because we love you. Okay, is that it on the one you? Is this on the flipper? Not yet. I just took these about an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what my front half is doing with my back half. Oh my goodness, so cute. Sit down. No, um, it can always be. I would, if, I would have a chat. There's, there's different things. Some are nothing. Some are more significant. I would have a check. Come on, it's acting normal. If it's eating, drinking, acting fine. Uh, who's down here? Is that where she had calliope? Yes, up here. Mm -hmm. This is our, our new room. This is Thumper's room. Named after a wonderful little kitty Thumper friend. And this is also our new intake room, which we, we love it. I, I love this room. Um, it's kind of long and narrow. We've got our sink, our refrigerator. We've got all the things that we need to do intakes in here. We've got the two double condos and then the silver pen that, that Racer had painted for us. Right now we've got a brand new litter in here. Just came in probably an hour ago with four babies, five babies, five babies in there. We haven't even really done an intake on them yet. But in here we can do um, their leukemia and FIV heartworm test uh, and, and draw the blood right in here. We can get their initial Capstar and their wormer done, their first vaccines done. Their bath can be done in here for the most part. And then uh, once we get their vaccines in them, we can start, that starts working on their immune system and they can uh, be in here for a little bit until that vaccine takes hold. And we can also check them, make sure that uh, there's no upcoming colds, things like that, viruses that we want to be leery of. So this is the room that we use to um, hold them until we're fairly certain that they're in good health before we intermingle them into the main area. Uh -huh. So this little girl, this little girl was found her name is Zelda. She's got a big old belly right now. She's, her name is Zelda. That's one of the new cat names from the cat naming rights from the Catathon. And uh, she's doing real good. That's she, Tracer. Oh, I'm sorry. This is Tracer. That's right. Thank you, Kurt. This is Tracer. Got your name mixed up. But also a name from the Catathon. And then this new mommy in here. In you go. This new mommy just, just came in. She's a tortie. She's got the five babies. We have not tested them yet, but we will shortly. They need a little, little hands-on, but that's what we do in this room. The volunteers, when they have extra room, come in here, and they pet and play and make sure these guys are, are getting lots of TLC. What's nice about this pen is the nice size of it, but we can also, when the mommy's been tested, we can leave this door open, and she can come in here and cruise, and the lip on this is high enough that the baby kitties can't come out. So mommy can come out, kind of stretch, get away from them, and baby stay in there. So it won't be long. You know, maybe in another week or so, these guys will be out in the main area also. So we all have their different stages depending on where they were found at, if they were found outside, kept in a home. Everything just depends on their history uh, for how fast they progress to the new, to the main area. 
and then you want to show, want to do that. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, thank you for coming. You just do it from here? Okay, this is our new office called um, the Greeting Room. And uh, we've got the desk and chairs in there. Kurt's working on the computer. Uh, this is where everybody enters into this office area. So whether they have incoming cats or they want to just visit, whatever, this is the room that they go into first. And then before they enter the rescue center, they wa either wash their hands or put the disinfectant in. But it's a great room. Nobody is, is anymore just walking straight into the rescue center. They, they come into this room first, and we can take care of a lot of the business right in there. And that way, it's just another way of protecting the kitties that are in the rescue center. And I love this. It's, it's something, er, it, sometimes we also call it the welcome room. But I love this. It's so nice to um, know that we're protecting the kitties. And then outside this door on the right-hand side is our porch. And um, this is something we haven't had before either, of course, because it's new. It's an over, it's a, it's a covered porch. So we've got a little protection from the weather. I love this. This goes out to, towards the driveway where everybody comes in. And last but not least, really the fourth room because I consider that kind of like a room is our new bathroom and it's a half bath we're very proud of it oh and the door isn't that cool what that says on there Kathy R one of our volunteers I love did that. that yeah and that's kind of true they may not have meant to be here first but now they're here they wandered here and we got our bath I know it's kind of silly to get so excited about a half bath but I love it Visitors can use this, or our volunteers can use this, and up until this time, everybody always came into the house, so we don't have all that traffic into the house anymore. So we're very happy about this. Ada Jane getting a drink. <laughs> um, this is Fabio. Dr. Cindy, our vet, named him Fabio because sometimes when he walks around, he flips his head around. Oh, you can you can have that. He <laughs> plays with those. Um, he's just one of our sun porch cats. He's been here a couple years. Got long hair. So when he trots down the sidewalk, it's like he tosses his mane. Hence his name. It's... Uh, like 20, 20 by 24, I think, with two extensions out on the side. They're called the catio. And this is the building that Lowe's is going to be helping us with this fall. They're going to do a service project. They do one a year, and FFRC gets to have the wonderful privilege of their help. And what they're going to do is put a new door on this. That'll be a storm door, a winter door type. And then inside, they're actually going to insulate and put up inside walls. Right now, it's just plywood all the way around other than the uh, wire um, areas where, where we have it open, where the wind can or the sun can come in there. But this is going to be winterized, and then it'll be, have the inside uh, walls. It's going to make it so much nicer and cozier. It's going to be a big project, but I'm just so pleased that they're going to do that. This has a cement floor. It's a painted floor. It's 